Beverly Haskins has lived across the street from the Huntington Post Office for years, but these days doesn't much like the view. It's the stars and stripes at the top of the flagpole out front, which looks like it's been through a hurricane, or maybe two. The American flag that's in shreds, <laughs> and it's been that way for about two months now, and it's getting worse. How do you feel about that? I think it's just disgrace to the nation and to the town of Huntington. There are a lot of flags flying around this small town southeast of Burlington, and none of them look anything like this. And I've talked to or the employees here at the post office on several occasions over the last few months. Lisa and Roy Haynes say they've complained to post office employees, and nothing was done, so they posted a picture on social media. You want other nations to respect us? The people, our own citizens, should re have more respect for the flag. I mean, people have died for this flag. I mean, there's a lot of people in the country that die for the flag every day, and you can't even get anybody to replace it. The head of the town select board said she was unaware of any complaints, and regardless, the post office is private property. We sent a photo to Postal Service Brass in Boston, and their reaction was swift. That's appalling the way it looks, said spokesman Steve Doherty. This isn't a close call. It should have been replaced a long time ago, and we'll get that done right away. But a passerby Friday did them one better. It gave her an idea for the flag the Defense Department sent her to drape over her father's coffin. He served in the Korean War. She went home to get it. She wouldn't give us her name, but suddenly the Huntington Post Office flagpole never looked better.